A 43-year-old student of the Federal University of Technology, Oweri, is crying out to the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, to come to his aid, having spent an extra seven years in school when he originally should have graduated in 2014. Philip Bryan Otoba is accusing two lecturers of FUTU of being the masterminds of his ordeal because saying they were de determined to extort him and our correspondent, Ikena Amichi, reports. Philip Brain's Otoba's dream of becoming a project management professional was meant to last for only five years, but now it has become a nightmare that has dragged for more than a decade. Gone with it are his money, time, and even family who were unable to put up with him in the only accommodation he could afford, this uncompleted building he managed to site in a forest. By the side, this abandoned vehicle he once used as a cab. These two things make up his world. What has become of his dream for the Golden Fleece was not what he bargained for when he started the journey. I gained admission into Federal University of Technology Worry in the year 2009. I was supposed to study mechanical engineering. I have a passion for aeronautic engineering. When I was in secondary school, I produced a rocket that was launched in the year 2000 in Embury Grammar School. When I got there, they couldn't give me the score, the course of choice. So they pushed me to a different course, asking me to pay some money before they can give me my recourse. But I said, no problem. I don't have such, such money. So I went in for the one they gave to me. That is project management technology. And I progressed to 2014, uh, 2013, 400 level, stroke 500 level first semester i had i started having problem with my course advisor so he told me i cannot graduate from this school without spending money it has come to their notice that i do not sort courses that is not done that way that i must part with something i cannot come to the school photo and obtain certificate and go away and he's my course advisor there's no i can dodge him but unfortunately i couldn't dodge his trap so at the end of the day i got f in that course they're making it to his three daughters are out of school at the moment, with the first one working at a restaurant. I, my wife asked me to stop these kids, but I can't stop it because it's just my life. Now I'm subjected to nothing, next to nothing. I almost committed suicide, but with the help of friends and encouragement from the press, I was able to cope to this level. I have spent a whole lot of money. I borrowed money for the cooperative. In the bush or here, they chased me from town, couldn't stay in town. That's why I see me hiding in the bush. I will tell and say, I better make it stop because it still can't tire me. The, we will not feel even they see the money to pay people where we even borrow, even to chop in no day. But Philip has also put up his fight to the highest level of government. The Nigerian Senate had cause to hear his petition and summon the institution to answer questions. What is the justification? to fail this man. And we asked DBC, you represented the VC then. The Algo VC was still there. We asked you within two weeks to produce the mark scheme for this man. Do we have it today? Because those are the demands of this committee. We directed, the committee directed that the, you should produce the marking scheme used in failing this gentleman. And then the scheme to mark and you put 20 on over 100 failed. We need copies. Staff that were involved have been exited from the university. Sir? They are present and go. They have exited one by death, one by retirement. And I processed this and I sent it to the dean. I say review these uh, scripts. And the dean appointed the lecturers who did not participate in the market to review. And even after that, we still sent it out to a um, uh, lecturer outside in the same field to review. They return similar grade, even after the Senate has done this. And if he was not satisfied, he would have petitioned to governing council. And governing council will say, look at this thing again. Assuming that young man, on your immediate uh, left, it's your own direct biological son. How would you feel? Now, his lawyer, 
says the adequate redress must be obtained. For my primary aim is the certificate. But we are also hoping and praying that monetary compensation will be given to this young man to assuage, to assuage him of all the troubles, all the agonies he has gone through. As Philip hopes for a favorable outcome, he seems to have found a way to engage his mind in other endeavors. Yes. What we are seeing here is a personal autolite aircraft helicopter. And it's my dream to produce a helicopter for a very long time. So I felt that by the time I finish school, I will go for my master programs in aerospace PMP from there switch to aeronautic proper. For now, it is how Futo responds to this matter that has put its image in the spotlight that remains to be seen. Meanwhile, Philip's wife just gave birth to a baby boy on Friday night. Another responsibility, though a bundle of joy. Ikenna Amechi. TVC News, awesome.